Good morning, everyone. It is Annie Poirier from Shaping Perspectives. A beautiful morning here at Old Orchard Beach. You can see the sunrise is coming up. Um, I am here to kick off our self-care week. And so today we are going to be talking about why we need self-care a little bit. But all week long we'll be talking about self-care and the importance of self-care and how you can fit it into your day. And so what I do when I work with clients and we talk about self-care, the first thing I want to kind of share with you is this fact that if we don't take care of ourselves, if we are giving and giving and giving and that's all that we do, then what happens is we have less to give away, right? And I use the analogies of, you know, the old analogy of getting in um, an airplane and have this, having the, um, the person on the airplane tell you about um, the fact is the very first thing that you do if there's an emergency is to put on your own oxygen mask before you help anybody else. And what happens as um, women especially is that we give and give and give and give and give and then there's nothing left. And the other analogy is, you know, if you think about a cup and if we have so much energy in our day and we just pour it all out for everybody else, then what happens to the people at the end of the day that interact with us? Because what happens is they don't get our best selves. We um, might be a little tired, fatigued, less focused, moody maybe, short-tempered, all of those little things that happen when we're not taking care of ourselves or filling our own cup. So the key here to start off with is how do you know you need self-care? What are the physical and emotional signs for you that tell you that you need to take a few minutes to fill up your cup? So, um, you know, some physical signs would be something like fatigue, right? But also possibly stomach ache, um, you know, stress, headache, that kind of thing, um, tight muscles, so uh, muscle fatigue, a lot of those different types of things. Lack of focus is a big one too. Emotional, uh, for me I know I get kind of short tempered. I get emotional, um, I might be crying at the drop of a hat, things like that. So what is it for you that kind of tells you you might need a few moments to fill your cup? And as we move through the week, we're gonna talk about how you can take five minutes and, and put a little deposit into your self-care cup so that you can be um, energized and available and focused and caring and loving for the people around you um, even as your days continue to move through. Uh, I am gonna be back in tomorrow to talk a little bit about something else. Um, and just a reminder too, at the end of this, to let you know that I am doing an encore performance of Death to the Diet. Um, learn what to do instead on Wednesday night at 7.30. So I hope that you'll join me for that. I'm looking forward to sharing that information as well. That's a piece of self-care, taking care of you. So I hope you have a fabulous Monday and thanks for joining.